Hi, good morning, welcome back to Mike Makes It. Today we're looking at a Roby RHV18 portable vacuum cleaner. Let's get out of the box and see what we think of it. Right, there you go. I'm laughing because all you get in the box is the vacuum cleaner and the book of words. But to be fair, that's all I was expecting. This is a bare tool, no battery, no charger. If you want that, Roby do another kit that includes those two devices, but I have those, so I didn't need them. I'll run through the spec of this vacuum cleaner. Roby say it'll pull in 1100 liters of an air, air a minute, and it's got a suction of 34 air watts. The dust bowl is actually quite small. I've used this already, so I know it fills up quickly, but 600 milliliters. It's got a HEPA 11 filter, high efficiency particulate air filter um, apparently it should remove 90 percent of particulates larger than 0.3 of a micrometer or 0 0.0003 of a millimeter so it shouldn't be blowing dust into the air and it's a two-stage filter we'll, we'll open that up in a minute uh 34 minute run time on a 5 amp battery so yeah there you go that's that's the tool you've got a nozzle on here and that caught me out because they ain't a lot of good in man or beast. It will pull up uh, rubbish in your car, if you like, but really what you need to get, and I'm stretching over here now, and I had to buy one of these separately, is a kit of bits. That's the Roby hand vac accessory tool kit, four pieces in there. We'll get that out, show you what, what exactly you get, because it don't quite fit in the camera here, but we don't need that this second. To open this device up to um, clean the filter, tip it up that way, push that button, and the whole nose clip comes away. Now there is an interlock switch here that will push in when you reassemble it. There's a pin here. Now the idea of that, you can't start this up and get your finger caught in here, which, which wouldn't <laughs> that'll spoil your day. All right, so that aside, there's your filter and nose unit. There's your HEPA filter in there. I'm just going to grab that, and that assembly comes out. Any dirt, rubbish you've picked up in here, tip out, put it in the bin. It's got a one-way filter here. If you look right down there, the black thing is like a tong. don't know if you can see it through there, but basically it's a one-way valve. You can pull rubbish in this way, and that'll open. When you turn the vacuum off, that closes to stop the debris dropping out. It's not 100% because I'm looking now at an angle. I don't know if I can show you that. If I move my finger now, doesn't fully close. So if you did that on the desk, you might get some dirt dropping back out of it. Perhaps don't do that. This assembly, two-stage filter, a replaceable filter in here. Turn anti-clockwise, that pop out. Now, I look, lucky I've got an airline. I'll blow that out in the airline. Um, and it cleans most of the rubbish out of that. A little brush would do it. Don't use a toothbrush, that'd be too hard. Use a little uh, pastry brush, but don't tell the wife to clean this out. Give it a little tap out, back in it goes. And there's another filter here, which isn't replaceable, not unless you change the whole nose piece. But again, I'll use an airline on that. But again, a pastry brush would fetch your rubbish out of there. Drop this back in. These locking tabs, two of them go under that piece of plastic there it's going to be obvious when you got it in front of you and that's that locked in i found this a little bit tricky putting back together but it's probably just me two tabs there you can't put it around the wrong way you've got two tabs there that locate with these two tabs so make sure that's all sat in there and what i do and i think that's probably the best way where the interlock is, there's one tab. I align that first, then lock it home. Okay, and that's fully assembled now. You can pass, you can assemble it, but it doesn't clip in right. And I'm trying to do it wrong, which is probably harder than doing it right. Well, that's clipped in again. On occasions, I've had this not actually aligned properly there, and the vacuum didn't work. But that's all back together. You've cleaned the filter, should we pretend? On-off switch here. I've got to turn it on. 
and surprisingly it doesn't work no battery so we'll plug them um, i've got two amp battery here we'll plug that in same as all the other roby products great big great click and it's in very very secure never ever had a roby battery drop out on me right on on and off here And it does, uh, it does do the trick if I, a little bit of paper, card. I didn't feel it sucks quite so well as I'd like it to, but it does fetch a load of debris up and we're gonna prove that now. We're gonna iron metal shavings, wood shavings, etc., and just see how well it does uh, fill up or suck the rubbish up, I should say. One thing I did find though, Although it says you've got 600 millilitres of area here, once you fill up, you imagine you've got the vacuum this angle. Once you've gone past that one-way valve, it starts getting a little bit more difficult for the debris to be pulled in and for that valve flap to close. So keep an eye on this. Um, you might have to shake the rubbish to the back, depending on where you're vacuuming. But of course, if you're in this position, everything falls forward over that valve. So once you start blocking that, I've found the suction isn't so good. You don't move much of the rubbish. You have to empty this a little bit more often than I'd like. But let's put some junk on the bench and just see how well it sucks. Right, just before we start the, the debris test, uh, this, this is the additional four-piece pack I was talking about, £19 off Amazon, and I really do think you need it. This might be fine for you. It won. I, I I didn't think it was very effective for for my point of view, but with that you've got a crevice brush. You can get down in your car seats. This one, if I go the right way round, you got a longer shaft, so you don't have to get too close to your work if you like. Again, the crevice brush will fit on there, or this head. So if you've been working in one of your rooms at home, bit of DIY you can quite easily use that from a stand-in position rather than having to get on your hands and knees or even in the back of the car. But yeah, this was an add-on, but I think it's a necessary add-on for this vacuum cleaner. Anyway, let's get some bits and pieces on here and see how well it sucks up. All right, there you go, bit of damp sawdust, bits of metal, a couple of buttons. We'll see how well this works. Five amp battery, off we go. Just try the crevice tool. Similar sort of deal, I think. Smaller diameter here, though. So if you've got bits of paper, etc., pieces of wire, may block across that channel, but easily to e easy to fix. All right. Well, made short work of that. This is what I was talking about here, though. You can see the the flap, the valve I spoke about earlier, does start getting um, filled with junk or covered with junk. And the effectiveness of that uh, may show once it starts filling up. So you don't want to let it get too filled, I don't think, but try it. If it's lighter dust and stuff you're picking up, you'll probably be fine. Uh, I've had no real problems with it. It was just sort of, mm, maybe that's going to cause a problem, maybe not. But uh, if we turn it on now, It does clear, does clear the flap there, so it might not be anything to worry about. But yeah, anyhow, I hope you found that interesting. That's the Roby RHV18 bare tool from Amazon. Little vacuum cleaner, keep in the garage, do your car with, should be good. But you might want that add-on kit. See how you get on with the bare nozzle here. But I certainly found uh, the crevice tool to be good. But yeah, unfortunately, that's nearly £20 more. But I hope you found that useful. Thumbs up would be great if you did. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks very much for watching Mike Makes here.